Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Disgraced Comey and Podesta just showed up unexpectedly to meet with foreign leaders. Trump makes them regret it. Former Federal Bureau of Investigation Director James Comey has been disgraced for some time. After his book was released and he went on tour, he has been relatively silent, except on social media. He often takes to Twitter to weigh in on various political arguments. This time he made headlines over comments he made regarding the president's decision to impose aluminum and steel tariffs on Canada. Red State Wave reported. Former FBI Director James Comey on Saturday chimed in on dispute between Canada and President Trump. Our national security relationship with Canada is vital and saves American lives. It was built over generations and is bigger than any person or dispute. This too shall pass. Comey tweeted hours after the G7 came to a close. Early this week, President Trump said the tariffs on Canada was for national security purposes. President Donald Trump and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau had a testy phone call on May 25 over new tariffs imposed by the Trump administration targeting steel and aluminum imports coming from Canada, including one moment during the conversation in which Trump made an erroneous historical reference, sources familiar with the discussion told CNN. According to the sources, Trudeau pressed Trump on how he could justify the tariffs as a national security issue. In response, Trump quipped to Trudeau, didn't you guys burn down the White House? Referring to the War of 1812. The problem with Trump's comments to Trudeau is that British troops burned down the White House during the War of 1812. Historians note the British attack on Washington was in retaliation for the American attack on York, Ontario, in territory that eventually became Canada, which was then a British colony. When asked if the comment was received as a joke, one source on the call said, to the degree one can never take what is said as a joke. The impact on Canada and ultimately on workers in the U.S. won't be a laughing matter. Maybe it's time for Mr. Comey to take a break and go away for a while. The president ultimately is the winner in all of this despite Comey's childish tweets and comments. At the end of the day, the best revenge is the fact that the American people love the president far more than they do Comey. In fact, Comey's ratings are in the trash. Which is exactly why recent polling shows President Trump at around 45 to 46 percent, with his predecessors Obama and Bush having lower ratings. The Hill reported, Comey has been highly critical of Trump since the president fired him last year, including in his new book A Higher Loyalty, Truth, Lies, and Leadership. Trump attacked Trudeau in a pair of tweets Saturday after leaving the Group of Seven G7, summit, claiming that Trudeau made false statements at a news conference and calling the prime minister very dishonest and weak. Trump also said the U.S. would not endorse the joint communique signed by the other G7 member countries, after Trudeau had said all countries signed it, and appeared to threaten more tariffs against Canada. The Canadian leader had said at a press conference that his country wouldn't be pushed around by the U.S. over Trump's recent decision to impose stiff tariffs on steel and aluminum imports from the nation. This is not the first time that Comey has found himself in hot water. It certainly is not even the third, fourth or fifth. Most recently Rudy Giuliani took aim at him and accused him of some pretty serious crimes indicating he feels he should be punished. The former mayor of New York said that Comey could be prosecuted based on a report that will be released from the Department of Justice's internal watchdog. He said he feels the report will show that Comey acted negligently in regards to his handling of the Hillary Clinton email investigation when speaking with radio host John Katsimatidis. The report reportedly reads that Comey defied superiors and instead what he thought was the right thing to do. As a result, he was identified as insubordinate. All of this disclosure came as a result of a group of bipartisan lawmakers who were concerned about Comey's public disclosure of certain emails. The Hill reported. Clinton supporters and allies who blamed Comey's announcement, particularly its timing, for contributing to Clinton's loss in the 2016 election have reacted positively to the launch of the Inspector General's investigation. Previous findings from another scathing Inspector General report led to the firing of former FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe over his unauthorized disclosure to the media and lack of frankness with investigators. Trump has been a frequent critic of Comey, stating that he left the Bureau's reputation in tatters. Earlier this week, Trump appeared to try to cast doubt on findings that may exonerate Comey or Clinton ahead of the report's release. What is taking so long with the Inspector General's report on crooked Hillary and slippery James Comey? he tweeted on Tuesday. Numerous delays. Hope report is not being changed and made weaker. There are so many horrible things to tell, the public has the right to know. Transparency. Horowitz said he will testify before the Judiciary Committee on June 18. 
The House Judiciary and Oversight and Government Reform Committees are expected to hold a joint hearing on the report the next day. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.